we generally call it the catastrophe because we feel like it wasn't a riot. We didn't. We were not the perpetrators. We were the victims. <laughs> but it took 80 years to get the state of Oklahoma to acknowledge that. <laughs> The Tulsa Race Massacre is believed to be one of the worst incidents of racial violence in American history. From May 31st to June 1st in 1921, as many as 300 people were killed, hundreds were injured, and thousands of buildings were destroyed. On June 1st, they began to systematically destroy neighborhoods, and they had airplanes dropping things down on people's houses and they had made up their minds to clear the entire area of black people. It started after a newspaper reported a black man tried to sexually assault a white woman. Though it's still uncertain what exactly happened, many did not believe that story. The Oklahoma Historical Society said the most common explanation is Dick Rollins stepped on Sarah Page's foot when he entered the elevator, causing her to scream. A group of armed black men went to the courthouse to offer help protecting Rowan once they heard talks of lynching. A crowd of white men was also on the scene. A shot was fired and the riots began. My parents were very distressed because here they are with five kids and the schools had been. I went to Dunbar School and that was reduced to just rubble. I mean, they blew it up. Crowds of white rioters went to the Greenwood District, known as Black Wall Street. It was home to an affluent African-American community with banks, hotels, theaters, and new homes. They took my eight-year-old brother, too, where they were holding all the black men. And we didn't know because we lived on one side of town and they lived on the other. We thought they were locking up the non-blacks, too. But it so happened that it didn't occur that way. What they did was to disarm and lock up all black men. And then they said to the mob, there's nothing out there now but women and children, so you can do whatever you want to do. And that was when the real terrible things started to happen. It ended when the city was placed under martial law and National Guard troops were deployed. But Black Wall Street was devastated. Survivors never received compensation for what they lost. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.